Hey guys, how's it going? This is Gerald. Just want to go ahead and drop a quick video. And this video is entitled, What Motivates Sellers to Sell Their Properties uh, Foreclosure, uh, Divorce, Eviction Issues. Um, you can have some foundational issues, you can have natural disaster, you can have uh, death in the family, sickness, delinquent property taxes, code violations. Uh, guys, there's the list goes on and on. Sometimes it can be age, uh, it can be family size. You know, you, you all of a sudden it's, it's, you know, you have a, uh, two bedroom, one bath, you have a three bedroom, two bath, all of a sudden, uh, you being a married couple, all of a sudden you got two, three, four kids, five kids that can motivate you to sell There's so many different reasons as to why people sell property and you're just not going to know, you know, it's delinquent property taxes. It's one motivating factor as to why somebody would sell their property there's dozens upon dozens of reasons as to why you know that's that's why you want to know their why you want to know people's why and so there's so many different ways and reasons as to um, why people do what they do you know and one of the things that I get quite a bit that's pretty consistent is, you know, Gerald, it's hard. It, it, it is, you know, um, wholesaling is not impossible, but you got to work at it. Investing is not impossible, but you got to work at it. You cannot, without a doubt, you can't put a mailing campaign together, go ahead and mail a thousand people and give up. Or mail 500 people and give up. Oh my goodness. There's nobody. No, there is. Trust me. Numbers will begin to sway in your favor. But you have to be this thing called consistent. It's like working out. Okay. You see someone that is... You get 100 people that go to the gym January 1st. By the time it's like... I don't know. Let's say it's June 10th. 90% of those people have dropped off. They became inconsistent. 95% of those people, most of those people are gone. They're done. But it's the people that are consistent at not just working out, but eating right and developing great habits that get great results. Same thing with real estate investing. Okay? I think that the, the issue is it's, it's such a low barrier to entry. People think that it's going to come easy. And some people have beginning success or beginner's luck, whatever it is you want to call it. I would say beginning success, you know, but over time, you know, it takes work. The tools that you get, they're great, but they're not, they're tools. They're like tools that you work on when you're working on your house or your car. They make life easier, but they're not going to do the job for you. That wrench is not going to go ahead and, 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 loosen that bolt for you by itself you have to do the work you know so that's the hard thing about just life not just real estate but life is you have to you have to do the work you 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 have to be consistent that's the number one the 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 number one and number two gift that i can give you is be persistent and consistent and you'll win you you have to be consistent there's tons of videos out there, tons of resources, people giving stuff away for free. You could build an entire business with the stuff that I'm giving away for free. You don't even need me. You know, you just, you, all you need is actually persistence and being consistent. That's what you need. And you'll win. You know, but my biggest thing is just don't give up. Number one. Number two, find some partners to work with that where you can spread out resources. Work together. One of the reasons for this thing is this house flipping family is so you all can develop a family, a family of, of real estate professionals and appraisers and, and, and inspectors 
and um, it could be an accountant, it could be a real estate agent, it can be a title rep, it can be whatever, whatever. Develop a family, develop your family, whatever that is in your specific area. That's the objective. That's so that you all can go ahead and win. Okay, just don't give up. Be consistent. That's the biggest thing. The biggest obstacle you have to fight is you. It's not the nose. It's you by being consistent. And when you're listening to that voice, ready to give up, stop doing that. You know, so there's a lot of ways as to fight to how as to why people sell what they sell in terms of property. You just got to get out there and just be out there and keep going and keep going and keep going. Okay. This is Gerald. Have a good one.